Statesman Nation here with Jamie Hycock, uh, head men's soccer coach, uh, entering his second year. And uh, coach, you guys are off and running, uh, a few practices in. So I guess um, before we get into all of that, let's rewind and, and talk about last year, um, your first season, and, and kind of move forward. Yeah, it was obviously a very good year. Um, you know, we improved on the win record from the previous right. season, which was a big goal of ours. Um, you know, beating Grandview was very good, and you know, I, it was a number and number of years before we beat yeah. them. Um, you know, we made the playoffs, and you know, arguably, probably guaranteed the hardest conference in yeah. a, in America. Mm -hmm. So that was a big achievement for us. Um, you know, we we maybe suffered a little bit with injury suspensions and things at the end of the season, which didn't help our cause. But uh, yeah, it was it was it was. We we hit our goals, you know. We beat ranked opposition. We right. we got the team to a very high level, and we almost got ourselves ranked. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, very good things happened here. And you know, we were in a lot of games that we maybe that we were winning, and we right. didn't manage to hold on to uh, onto the lead sure. um, and that sort of stuff. But it was um, it was a positive year. I think we got the best out of the guys that we had, and obviously that's what you can ask for ultimately. Definitely. Um, you know, switching to the off season and your, your opportunity to work with the guys um, even longer, you know, without the distraction of games or whatever, just practices, and then you got on the recruiting trail. So talk about the off season a little bit, especially on the recruiting. Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, it was a good off season. We played some, you know, very high level universities. You know, we're lucky that me and uh, and my staff have good connections around America with right. very big universities, and we got to scrimmage some of those guys, which was good and. You know, um, um, you know, our our assistant coaches moved on pretty early with with new roles and stuff mm -hmm. like that, which obviously made it a little bit limited on me. Right. Um, but it was also good because you know I could get exactly the players that I needed. Exactly the ones you wanted, right? Yeah. But um, you know, we did a lot of overseas recruiting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we got a lot of guys from England. You know, we um, we obviously got quite a few Liberians here as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, we had several guys that were already here, and it was a case of just keeping up with their grades and getting right. them eligible, yep. which was you know which was a big deal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a few guys from France and Sweden come in the spring, and you know they're going to help out and play a lot this this year, hopefully. And then you know we got some very good local American talent. When, right. you know, I remember speaking to you last year a little bit. You know, we got some got some guys from Kansas City, and we got some guys in the Midwest area from right. Chicago and Wisconsin, and. That's exactly what we needed. Um, you know, we've obviously got you know connections that we use in California and Texas yeah. that we go down and look at as well. And obviously, we do recruiting now, but um, we did recruiting then for now. But also, we you know we've made many connections for the future That's that right, forward, yeah. hopefully you know in in years to come will serve us as yeah, well. Uh, definitely. All right. Well, let's get right into position by position because I know you got important things yeah, to do yeah, today. Yeah. More and more practices <laughs> and all of that stuff, but. Um, I guess, you know, go from the top, I think, down, I think, is maybe the best way to, to do it. So let's talk about some of your top forwards. Yeah, uh, I mean, if we're talking some of our top forwards, we've got, um, obviously, Randolph Tambers returning. Right. He scored, you know, a number, number of goals last year. Yeah, 12. Um, so he's back, obviously. <laughs> he's a character. Yeah. Uh, he's back. Um, Ninad Markovic from mm -hmm. Serbia, obviously a very good player, was already here, had a good summer. Uh, and now obviously didn't have an opportunity to play last year, so you're yeah. really excited to get him out. To get him out there, yep. Yeah. You know, Nina's been working hard. We've got Joey Messina, very good player from Wisconsin, freshman. Um, you know, he he's gonna be a very good player for us. And then, you know, you've got people like Johnny Cruz returning. Right. Uh, another another good player for us. And then some of the newer additions, we've got Cedric Petter from Germany. And then Tom Danan can he's he can score a few goals. He come in the spring, and then mm -hmm. we've got guys like Edson Bangley and um, and guys like that in the attacking positions right. uh, that are really going to help us. Uh, Emmanuel Morris, another really good player that we signed late as well in the spring. And yeah, yeah. So some of these guys, there's definitely goals in us. Um, sure. So there, and then obviously moving further down the field. You know, you've got, you know, BJ Gaunt coming. He's a freshman from Kansas City. He's yeah. he's doing very well at the moment. Um, uh, you've you've obviously got Jordan Rivera, um, who's coming back. Who's coming back? Year, right? Yeah, Ralph Chilopa. He's coming back as well. Very good player. So yeah, it's a case of finding positions for these guys and you know fitting them into the system that we want to right. play. And you know they might say that they're this position, they're that position, but ultimately when they come in, we might have to move them around and right. to get them back to What's it, best exactly for the what we want. And then obviously, um, you know, we've got Jack Kendall Brown, and then and then Lewis Hubbard and. 
and Santos Ortiz, he was already here. So you've yeah, got some very good, year, very yeah. good experience, leadership back there. Steve Lee's come back and he's looking good um, from England. And then obviously we've got Manny Esparza in goal, who's mm-hmm. uh, you know, who's who's waited a long time to, to be a senior, and right. he had a fantastic spring. Played some very big, uh, played some very big important games for us, mm-hmm. and uh, you know it's great to have him out there as well. And I'm I'm sure he's going to really enjoy his opportunity that he gets sure. this year. Yeah, um, another big squad uh, like you guys had last year. Um, I think you guys are I'm not sure where you're right yeah, now, but I'm bigger, guessing a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, so a lot of individuals that maybe you talked about that, um, or you know, didn't talk about, but might step into the into the fold somewhere down the line. Yeah. They might you know, you guys have only been practicing for a That's few true, days. Yeah, you know, some of these days, new guys, yeah. they might uh, might surprise once, once the ball gets rolling. Yeah, we've had a few of those. We've got um, Anthony Houston, a guy from Chicago, big powerful forward. He'll do well for us. Uh, Musa and Dai. Uh, he's originally from Senegal, but. Um, he grew up in the St. Louis area. He okay. seems a he seems a talented player. And then, as I said, you got like Sir Cedric and BJ. Uh, Jonathan Manish is doing very well. Right. Um, you know, you know. Obviously, I'm a little bit different in my view. You know, I'm not really one who buys into you know seniors, juniors. If you're good enough as right. a freshman, you play as a yeah, freshman. Definitely. You know. Sure. Um, so it'll be interesting how some of these guys. We're still actually waiting on a few more to arrive mm-hmm. in the next week or so. Right. So it would be interesting how they fit into the fold and right. what we do from there. I twenties are taking a little long, huh? Embassies, yeah, embassies, <laughs> and All that you know, fun stuff. it's um, yeah, you got to be patient with some people, and you know, I know they travel long distances to be here. So, right, right. Yeah. Um, talk about the non-conference schedule. Obviously, with the conference getting bigger, with the addition of Mount Mercy and Clark, uh, you're limited to you guys just have six non-conference yeah. games, so it's kind of bang, 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 and then you're into a well, uh, really tough part, but. Um, Non-conference wise, speak about I guess what how that's going to prepare you guys. You know we play some very good teams in our non-conference schedule. We mm-hmm. play Columbia, who you know ranked I think top six in the nation to right, start. Right, yeah, court finals last year. Yeah, we play Cal- We play many go- home games. We got Calum at St. Joe and Hannibal Lagrange at mm-hmm. home, and then we go to Indiana and we play a few games. We play Goshen and Holy Cross, right. and that, you know they're going to be two very competitive games for us, and then. And the Columbia game, and then then yeah, straight into conference, and we start right. with uh, Mid America Nazarene away on the road, so <laughs> number two in the nation, yeah, I believe. Nothing like the uh, you know, nothing defending like easy, national runner ups, yeah. right? Right on the game. So we go straight into them, and yeah, the conference expanded. If it wasn't hard enough, it's definitely harder now. Yeah, um, it's a different animal in itself, but um, it just you know, like I tell the guys, they've just got to embrace it. Yeah. Um, it just means more competitive games. It means more games that mean something. Right. And, you know, the bigger the occasion, the bigger the performance. So yeah. hopefully our players can rise to that. And bar one or two results, I don't think really anyone really beat us last year. There was a few games that, you know, maybe we, we did this, we did that. But I've, we certainly don't fear anyone in our conference. Yeah. You know, there's different ways we're going to prepare for opposition, but sure. it's certainly not something that, well, you know, I'm not scared of them and all my players. We're not scared of anyone. So definitely it should be good. Um, you know, with so many new names that, for me, new names. I mean, yeah. they may have been guys that came in at spring, but I, I didn't uh, catch your names. But um, with so many, it sounds like new individuals in addition to the returners, you know, um, how are they gelling so far? Again, it's very early. Yeah, you're going to have so early. many other individuals that you know, we'll yeah, get into no, the mix right. too. But. Yeah, they're gelling okay. Um, you yeah, know, guys seem to gel better anyhow. That's they just true, want to yeah, get out true. on the field and they just want to play and you know they'll make the friendships as that's they go true. or whatever so yeah they're, they're, they're doing well obviously there's growing pains with some of them because yeah. they're a long way away from right. home and right. you know people are gonna suffer from homesickness and yeah. stuff like that and mm-hmm. i wouldn't say yeah you know there's people that have been here for a year two years three years so you know people are just getting used to knowing everyone and i think we worked it out the other day there's about 21 different nationalities we have Jeez. so if you're talking 60 <laughs> guys then one and three from a different country so oh, uh, we'll definitely work, <laughs> work on the pronunciation they need, they, they need to do some um some uh, article on that or something yeah, like that right. but it, it makes it very interesting and yeah. i've told the guys to enjoy it you know and embrace mm-hmm. it you know i don't think you guys are gonna ever be an experience where you, you were sitting in a room with you know a serbian mm-hmm. a liberian a guy from papua new guinea and a guy right. from you know, from France and Germany or wherever. So, yeah. you know, it's interesting. They're trying to gel. Obviously, you know, there's still language barriers and stuff with some, but yeah. uh, it's exciting, you know, and it's, it's a good opportunity for them. And yeah. hopefully, you know, and from the way we were recruited and who we recruited, mm-hmm. that, you know, they're good guys and they all come together and we do very well. Definitely. 
Um, then I guess the, the big question always is the key to success. You know, how do you how do you improve on the win total? How do you move up the the conference standings? What's it going to take this year? It's belief. I think uh, it's easy cliche to say, but I think it's installing belief in, in players. And I think you're seeing in the modern game nowadays that um, you know everyone's got good players. Everyone's doing good things. Everyone's doing the right things and nutrition and training and stuff like that. But it's really creating belief in team chemistry and yeah. the team and getting the best out of what you have. I mean, you're seeing nowadays. You see Portugal winning the Euros. Leicester winning the league. Um, you see teams like Wales getting to the to the you know the semi finals. Right. You're seeing teams that are maybe not as talented, but teamwork and and chemistry and you know, getting the best out of players is what's going to serve you. And we've we've got a good squad this year. Last year we were maybe we were stretched a little bit with the quality that we had. Uh, so we've got some better quality. We've got more competition for places. Training's better, mm -hmm. and players are better. So hopefully that should bring better better results than last year. But ultimately, right. if you don't turn up and you don't perform, then right. that doesn't happen. And you know it's our job as coaches to make sure that right. we prepare them right and we put them in the best standing. And hopefully their talents will shine through and just keep getting better. Yeah. Well, and you know, obviously, with the big win over Grandview last year, something that obviously hasn't come yeah. <laughs> hasn't come very often in in our men's soccer program, a win like that, and other good results against top teams, yeah, you know, that's that has to you know build on their allow their confidence to grow yeah. from last year for the returners. I mean, you guys, hopefully, you get some big wins yeah. and non confidence, and you can build right away. So and. I think you know success breeds success. Yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah, um, you know it's good to get a good win early on in the season, and you know it's good to get in good habits up straight away. And right. you know we're definitely going to make ourselves harder to beat. And yeah. I know we've got goals in us, so uh, it's going to be good. You know, it's like you said, we had we beat a lot of teams that we're playing mm -hmm. last that we played last year. Sorry, that we're playing this year. So that gives the boys confidence, and you know we're trying to create a winning mentality here. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, if the players buy into it, I know as a coach and staff, we're buying into it. So, yeah, there should be no reason why we shouldn't be better than last year. Definitely. Um, and you guys uh, start in just nine days. Yeah, <laughs> by, by far yeah. the the first men's uh, team out there by yeah. a good week. So, um, get right, right to work. I won't hold you up any longer. But no. right to work. You had Kelly Metz and Joseph on the on the twentieth. Yeah. Um, here, uh, I forget the time. I want to say PM. two p.m. There you go. 2 p.m. So check out the, the guys out at, out at Lacey um, in just nine short days. So uh, best of luck in the rest of uh, preseason training and everything, Coach. And yeah, thank out. you very much. Yep, straight back to it now. So, uh, yeah, we'll make them have a good session today. They've done one to this morning, and, you know, we'll just keep pushing them and keep get going. them to reach their goals. You're working. All right, cool. Thanks, All right, Thanks, Ray. Appreciate it.